military films of history. On today's episode, 2008's The Hurt Locker. Is this movie good? Nope. Would you like to know why? Well, to start, let's have a look at that. What is that? What is that? Look, I get it. Sometimes we have to bend the truth a little bit in order to serve the narrative. But this film gets a little too far up its own b-hole trying to feel realistic. Let's start with this goober right here with his sleeves rolled up, smoking a cigarette inside of a Humvee. Oh, he's a real cool dude. He's a real rogue, right? He puts on the bomb suit and just does what he wants. Well, guess what? Anthony Mackie, who he outranks in this movie, didn't like that. So you know what Anthony Mackie did? He just walks up and gives him a knuckle sandwich. That's what we do in the army. If we don't like what you're doing, we'll just punch you in the face. Should have punched him in the face for how stupid and wrong this scene is. And you got this whole dumb ass segment where Jeremy Renner is trying to find this kid that he's been palling around with. So he takes an Iraqi local national hostage with a gun, who then takes him to the home of this other Iraqi family that probably doesn't know anything, and he brandishes a firearm at them. That would never happen! Oh, and the icing on the cake, the way he gets back onto the base, he tells the gate guard that he went to a whorehouse, and if he lets him go, he'll tell him where the whorehouse is. <laughs> Chief, I don't know what you're talking about. That stuff happens all the time. No, it doesn't! <laughs> Chief, you're a wild man. You're a wild man, you know that? Shut up, I'm not done yet! And then there's this part towards the end of the film where they show up, the bomb's already blown up. So instead of doing their job, you know, like some crater analysis or something, Jeremy Renner just looks at some random alleyway, and he's like, The criminals are still afoot. Let's get them, boys! Of course, Anthony Mackie is like this is a dumb idea so they go anyway and guess what happens the lowest ranking dude in the squad the specialist gets shot guess how many people go to jail for that if you guessed zero then you're absolutely correct look i get it this film is well shot there are aspects of this movie that are pretty well presented but there's some major major story beats in here that are so lame that they make me roll my eyes so hard that I see my frontal lobe. For me, Hurt Locker is a six out of 10. It is admittedly an important piece of filmmaking, but there's so much about just generally being in the army that they got way wrong. What do you think? 